Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. First I want to apologize, it's been quite a long time since I've done a blog post and the big issue has been that we've recently moved to a new location and it's pretty much been a very fun-filled but uh, very time-consuming six weeks. So I haven't been able to do a blog post in that time, but um, now that we're somewhat settled in, I hope to get back on schedule. So today's blog post, if you've watched in the past, I've done several posts regarding uh, how to select photos from a drop-down list. And I'll put a link to each one of the videos that I've done regarding that. But I had a recent request, how do we show a blank when nothing is selected in the drop-down list? So that's what I'm going to go through today. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So just as a real quick recap, as you can see here, I have a drop-down list that has four different options. And as I choose a different one, notice the photo will change. And this can be very useful for employee pictures or even emoji icons or, or various other pieces of information or images that you want to bring in based on a drop-down list. Now I'm not going to go through the whole process in this video. Again, I will have a list of all the related videos in this blog post so you can see uh, the different ones and, and go through them and watch the video to learn how to do this. But I am going to show you uh, a couple features of this. First, if I go to the Data tab, you'll see I have the four different images and the names of those images. And if I select the cells where these images are located, you can see it's named grapes, glasses, sun, and heart. And if I click on the image where we pull in from the drop-down list, in the formula bar you'll see it says equals wine photo. And if we go to the name manager, you'll see wine photo has a formula that says equals indirect catalog C2. So the indirect function takes a text string and converts it to a usable item within a formula. So it's going to pull in heart, which in this case is the cell that has the name of heart which has that image in it. So it pulls in that image based on that cell name. Again, watching the videos that you'll see in the links attached will go through a much more clear explanation of how the indirect function and this process works and how you can best set it up. The problem is, however, if I delete what's in this cell, it's still going to retain the image from the last selection I have. And the request was, how do we then insert a blank in that case? Again, if I go back to any one of the images, that's fine. But if I delete what's in there, it's still going to retain that. So what I've done here in a different file is I've changed the name of wine photo or the formula associated with wine photo to an if statement. And just to make that a little simpler to see, I'm going to go ahead and show that uh, right here. So here's the formula that I inserted into that named manager item called wine photo. It's an if statement that first says is catalog C2 which is the drop-down list blank. If that in fact is blank then run this indirect function on the worksheet data cell A6. If not then run this indirect function on the catalog worksheet cell C2. Well we know that is uh, right here where we have an, the name grapes for the drop-down list, but worksheet data cell A6, you see I've added another item to our list, and cell A6 says blank, and the cell next to it with nothing in it has the name of blank. So what this formula says is if this cell is blank, then pull in the image from the cell A6 on the data worksheet which in this case is just a blank. So when I go ahead and delete what's in cell C2, you'll see it pulls in just a blank cell, which we have in cell B6 that's named blank. So it's that simple to convert or to set this up so that if there is nothing in your drop-down list, it will produce a blank 
but if you select one of the other options that are available, it will pull in the appropriate photo. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.